Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video and today I have a book review. And before we get started, um, I do want to apologize for any noise in the background because, well, my, you know, my new kitten, uh, she's very hyper and has a lot of energy. And so I pretty much left her in the hallway running around with toys and she has little bell toys and she likes noises. So just letting you know. Anyway, uh, and before I get started also, uh, I do have the link for the book that I'm going to be talking about in the description. So in case you decide that you're interested in it, you can go check it out yourself. So getting started, um, the book I'll be talking about is Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. And this is a book that I've been wanting to read ever since I saw the picture online. And I was like, I'm going to put this on hold at the library because this looks really cool. And I don't know what it's about. But it says last magician and I know there's something wrong with, there's something with magic in it so I thought it was cool and even the cover I really enjoyed looking at it and it was just interesting it's mysterious and so on so anyway if you haven't read the book yet or heard of it it takes place in modern New York where just a world fictional world where um, uh, there's like this force invisible force called the brink and this brink keeps all anybody who's like with magical powers within this town pretty much kind of like isolates them and pretty much doesn't let them out and if you do go out bad things happen to you but in modern new york also it kind of led to almost like close to extinction of people with magic powers and because of this uh the cause of this uh brink was created by the secret society called the order and they pretty much hate anybody with magic and they want to get rid of them. So that's why they created this whole brink to keep them in. And in this world also, um, this is a girl named Esta who's pretty much has her own special abilities. And she pretty much goes on missions because she's part of like this group of magicians that try to go on missions and they try to like she's so she like she's also a thief. She so she sent still stuff for her job and then she like does more missions afterwards. And so she is like, she also has the power to time travel and also she can slow down time so that way like if she's trying to get away she pretty much can slow things down like in slow motion and actually get away that way and she can get out of anything and also she's a very cool thief so if you like thieves this is the book for you and so she takes on this job where she has to steal a book an ancient book which has the secrets to magic and how to stop the order and also how to break the brink that everybody wants to get rid of and so she goes all the way down to time travels all the way back to 1900 in order and also in order to steal this book she must team up with a gang uh who's led by a man named Dolph Sanders he's pretty much he's like the head guy boss of the gang and he's pretty much like the fearless guy and also she must also keep the book away from this other guy named Hart Derrigan, who's also known as the Magician. And pretty much, she must get the book and steal it and bring it back to the future to stop the brink and actually stop the order. And so, throughout the book, she's like uh, dealing with the gangs, taking on jobs, and trying to avoid the order because if the order knows that she's around or anybody magic, they pretty much mean business. And I had so much fun reading this book because... I like the whole situation, like the mixture of magic, there's time travel, secret societies, and I'm a huge fan of Dan Brown books, especially Robert Lincoln series, so the whole uh, the whole secret societies got my interest, and also like magic, and I like people with special abilities that can do stuff, and if you're interested like in books like, or books or shows like similar to, to Now You See Me or Prestige or The Illusionist, mixture with also time travel it's a good book for you and uh, I actually like the pacing of this book because it was not always so fast but there's like a mixture of everything so that way like when it's slow it makes sense like it has like it's slow build up but then it's like a one roller coaster ride that goes like oh no it's you don't know what's gonna happen and I also like the fact that also the magical world and how it um year two there's like a lot of magic and everybody has their own abilities but they're all like unique to that one person. So they don't, it's not like just one person with multiple abilities that can do everything. They have like their own one ability and even their own limitations. And I like that fact 
that they do have rules on it because I think most fantasy worlds should have a rules built into the book before just getting in. It. it makes it more realistic. Also, uh, for the characters, I really enjoy the characters, especially Esther, the main character, because I think she's funny and I ever um you're too late there will be certain times where it's serious, but she knows how to uh, break out the comic side of her to actually make the, the situation much more interesting. And I also like her interaction with the main char- other main character, Hart, who's pretty much the magician. And whenever they're, they're arguing, arguing or something, she pretty much like is just funny. And I also like uh, the fact that she can time travel. And she has, she's very powerful, so watch out. So, and also, yeah, I had so much fun. And I really can't wait for the next book. I would pretty much will go with like a three star, four star, just because... There are some things that I would have liked more. I would like to see more developed characters, so side characters, because there were some characters that pretty much were kind of like, they were there, but at the same time, they weren't. you don't know as much about their own backstory or anything. And so hopefully in the second book, I will get to know more of those characters. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this book review. Let me know in the comments below if you read it already and what you thought about it. And until next time, do subscribe and keep on reading.